Amzie here of Amzie's Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well today because we have another crafty festive session to get stuck into and this week of my handmade Christmas series I am going to show you some gift wrapping tips, tricks and ideas for you to up your wrapping game this Christmas. This includes different hacks that I use when I am wrapping presents as well as some decorative ideas if you do want to take your gift wrapping up that extra notch. So if this sounds like something you would be interested in watching then let's get wrapping. My first tip is to use some double sided tape to fasten your gift wrapping together. This really helps conceal those joints and stops any tape showing through on the top. Plus if you are using brown craft paper to wrap your presents like this one then tape doesn't always stick very well to it but the double sided tape really does secure it all together. Also, when you are wrapping your presents, when it comes to those side flap bits, you want to make sure that you really fold them down and press out these lines so they have a really nice crisp line and lay really flat. What I haven't done in this one is actually cut them down so you don't really want the flaps overlapping over the top you really want them just sitting up the side but you can still make them neat and again utilizing that double sided tape to secure it all in place. Another tip is to save your inner parts of the toilet roll because you can place these around your loose wrapping to keep them all together in place and securely wrapped around that inner roll. That makes sense. Keeping on the subject of toilet rolls, you can also utilise these into little gift boxes. I'm also going to do some with kitchen roll, the inner parts of kitchen roll. So all you're going to need is your rolls and some tissue paper or wrapping paper and some Mod Podge. If you don't have Mod Podge then you can water down some PVA glue or you could paint these or you could just simply tack on some wrapping paper. So all you need to do is use that toilet roll tube to measure how much of the tissue paper or wrapping paper that you need and cut this down to size. We are then going to use some Mod Podge to secure it all into place on the toilet roll. Apply a thin layer of the Mod Podge or watered down PVA onto the whole of the outside of that toilet roll. And then place over the tissue paper to cover this and stick it to the toilet roll tube. Then allow the Mod Podge to dry and harden slash set everything into place. I left mine overnight but this should only take a few hours to do. Once it is dry it is time to turn it into that little gift box so all we want to do is fold down one side into the middle of one end and then fold down the opposite side over the top of this making sure to secure each of the pointy corner bits together. Now you don't need to use any glue to stick these together the toilet roll will hold and then you want to turn it over and fill your little gift box with something. I'm using some little wax melts here and then again and follow the same folding technique as the bottom to secure it all in place. Finish it off with a little bow and you have a little gift box. And if you are wanting to add a little bit of decoration to your presents, you can create your own gift wrap bows. Now these are really easy to do and you can coordinate them by using the same wrapping paper. So you need some wrapping paper and something to cut them with as well as stick them together. So I'm using the double sided tape again. So what you want to do is cut down lots of strips of wrapping paper that are roughly two centimetres wide. You want different lengths to these ribbons, so three of them should be 24 centimetres long, three of them will be 21.5 centimetres long, one will be 16.5 centimetres long and the final one will be a small six centimetre long. 
starting with the longest pieces you want to create a figure of eight style shape with these so you want to fold it down and in on itself so that it looks like a figure of eight or like an infinity ring type of style then you want to secure these in place in the middle and repeat with the rest of the three long ones Once these have all been figure of eighted, you then want to stack them together, securing them together with some of that double sided tape again. Then you want to follow the same process with the next set of three long strips these ones are the 21.5 centimeter ones so figure of eight in them together and then sticking them on top in different angles to create that ribbon repeat with the 16.5 centimeter long piece and stick this onto the top of the bow And finally create a loop with that six centimeter long piece sticking it together making sure that it isn't stuck in the middle and then place it into the center of that newly formed bow and there you have your little decorative piece for your wrapping ready to be stuck on to the presents then if you want to add a little bit of something extra take another two centimeter long strip whatever length you like and curl this up with the edge of some scissors so doing this will create a little bit of friction on the paper and cause it to begin to curl and you should have some really nice twirly bits that you can attach to the underside of that newly formed bow Another tip that I have for gift tags is to save some of those really pretty Christmas cards that you get this year if you are getting any and cut out some of them embellishments because you can create really nice gift tags with them. It's something I do every year and you can get some really pretty gift tags out of the embellishments of those cards. You can also add on some extra ribbons to give it that extra bit of pizzazz, again curling it using that scissor action. To create a loop style ribbon we're going to use a similar process to the original ribbon by cutting 2cm wide strips, 4 measuring at 11.5cm in length and 3 measuring at 9cm in length. This is a really simple one. All you need to do is fold those ribbon pieces to the middle, joining the two ends together with all of the pieces, and then we're gonna just stick them together in a pretty shape. Start by taking one of the four longer pieces and placing this so that the fold side is facing upwards and then placing on some double sided tape and sticking the next long piece fold side down so that it creates seamlessness I guess. Carry on in this fashion adding on all of the other pieces of ribbon that have been folded in half, gradually building the structure of the bow. And finish off by adding the smallest loop on top and making sure it is nicely puffed out. Another decorative bow that can be made is actually in a bow shape with some of your wrapping paper or decorative paper. All you need to do is cut out a rectangle measuring roughly 21 centimeters by 10 centimeters and folding this in half. Then you just want to trace on like an eye shape onto this creating two little tab ends so that the bow has a nice flow up and round if that makes sense. Then cut this shape out and you should have that bow shape once it is unfolded. Now what you want to do then is fold each end of the bow into the middle, wrong side to wrong side or back side to back side so that they are secured in the middle to create that really nice bow shape with the paper. 
Then take a small piece of paper that fits in the middle of the bow, wrapping this around so that it meets and secures at the back of the bow. Then you want to cut a strip of paper measuring at 2cm wide by 13.5cm long and this will act as the tails of the bow. So fold this in half in the middle so that the two ends are meeting and then just cut a triangle up from the two edges to the middle of this to create those different tail ends. Then secure this onto the back of the bow as evenly and central as you can wrong side facing backwards so you've got the nice pattern side facing upwards and then you have your finished paper bow ready to put on to a present again with some double sided tape. Again adding on one of those Christmas card gift tags to the present to give it a really nice look and finish. And if you want to give your present a really professional finish with an actual ribbon bow, then here is how to tie the perfect one. You want a really long piece of your chosen ribbon and keeping one edge, the working end, really long. Fold this or wrap this around one part of the present and then keep it in place by holding it with your thumb, wrapping it around the opposite way and securing it by tying it all together. Now, you just watch how you do it rather than follow my advice because I think it's probably easier to see it than me properly explain it, hopefully. Once all tied together, all you need to do is snip the ends like we did on the paper one to give it that sort of triangle pointed look and because this is a fabric ribbon we need to secure the ends so you can use a lighter to sort of melt the edge but I prefer to use some clear nail varnish polish because I would probably set the whole thing alight doing it with the lighter method and there you have the perfect professional looking bow for your gift wrap you can also create a faux bow look or ribbon look with some washi tape. I picked this up from The Works, my favourite shop, and it is all Christmas themed. So all you want to do is stick it down one edge and along the length of the present to the other edge. Now this works better on smaller presents, I would admit, but you can use it on whatever size present you like. And then follow this by creating a crossover from one side to the other side, crossing over that initial washi tape look. You can then finish off the look by adding on some decorative gift tag or embellishment. I'm using a little reef one that I cut out from my card making supplies and just stick it on to that faux bow to give it a really nice extra Christmassy look. Again, with the double sided tape, you can really jazz up some plain wrapping paper. So this is that brown craft paper that is recyclable, but however, adding this will make it not recyclable, but it still makes a really nice decorative look to the wrapping. So all you want to do is place some strips of that double sided tape down, and we are gonna cover these in glitter. Now I am going for red and silver glitters to give a really nice candy cane type look to it. So what you want to do, if you want to create the individual stripes, is peel off the strips that are gonna be one color and do one color at a time. So just gently tap over the glitter onto that double sided tape and gently press it in and it should all lock onto the tape and stay there relatively well. Um, if you do brush it you may get a little bit of glitter coming off but then you can have a really nice glittery effect and I just finished off this present by using a white gel pen and writing ho 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 down the middle just to give it that bit of something extra. 
And for the final gift wrapping idea, I have gone a bit more natural and rustic looking using some of that brown craft paper again, some jute twine and some burlap ribbon, as well as adding on a bit of foliage. And I will link these gift tags down below because I have cut these out on my new machine, which is my Christmas present, but I'm using it early so we won't tell anyone. Shh. Um, but you can create some really nice designs with a digital cutting machine, so I will link the file for this down below. So all you want to do is wrap your present as normal with that double sided tip and then create a really nice look with that jute twine wrapping it around the present to give it that bow look. For the burlap ribbon, I am keeping this really simple, just cutting off a strip of this from the roll I had, and this is really pretty with some lace on it, so I'll link that down below as well if you want the same one. And all you want to do is scrunch this up in the middle, so keeping it horizontal and scrunching it in the middle, and then wrapping a piece of jute twine around the middle a few times, securing it in place in a double knot on the back and your little bow is ready to then be stuck onto the present. Really simple and easy, but really pretty and effective. Then using a bit of foliage, I have grabbed this from the garden. So I have forage for a bit of fern or conifer branch, I think it is, and some ivy, and then just slipping this into where that middle bow is and securing it in place with some more of the jute twine before adding on that really nice gift tag that I cut out earlier. And finally, adding on that burlap bow to the top corner to give it a really nice, pretty, rustic look. You can also spruce this up by adding in some dried citrus fruit. So we've got oranges and lemons here as well. And then all the Christmas wrapping is complete. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you tomorrow it is christmas the first for me and you i longed for so there you have my gift wrapping tips tricks and ideas to see you through to Christmas today with your gift wrapping. Now it is less than a week away to Christmas so hopefully these tips and tricks and ideas do come in really useful for this Christmas. If not, save it for next year or throughout the year because you can use a lot of these tips and tricks for any type of gift wrapping. And if you've enjoyed the video then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to keep up with all of my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel. This will be the last video of 2020 and I'll take a short break and we'll be resuming in the new year so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next new video and don't forget to check out the blog Ames's Antics which is linked below because there's a ton more information over on the blog for you to check out. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. And if you celebrate, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and season's greetings to all out there. See you next time. Bye.